Good morning, everyone. Welcome to My Collector's Bank. I was urged by Baseball Collector here to start my own channel, and I thought you guys would want to see everything that I brought home from the National. I just got here yesterday. And I didn't realize how much stuff I had until I got it out of the boxes. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. He's got a bunch of stuff, so. And I bring, I collect a little bit of everything. So um, first thing, a Ray Bork puck, um, authenticated by TriStar as well. Um, I don't buy it unless it has an authentication on it. So I think that's really important. Um, just because then I know that it's uh, legit. That it's legit. legit. Um, the second thing we'll go through is baseballs. I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of stuff, so stay tuned. <laughs> These are um, official Major League Baseballs. So this one is uh, Levon Hernandez with the, you can't even really see that, can you? Um, with the MVP uh, from the World Series inscription on it. Um, the other one is a Dale Murphy single sign baseball as well. Sweet spot. Sweet spot. Um, all this stuff is going to be authenticated by TriStar as well. Um, something that I collect um, a lot of are, are really what I my collection consists of is a lot of Hall of Fame baseballs. And I know a lot of people get them signed underneath the logo. Um, I've been around enough of these athletes that are older and their signatures are really sketchy. So I go for the sweet spot. So when you display it, you can display it like this and you still get the Hall of Fame logo and you get the, uh, the autograph on it. The and again, you mean. Uh, yeah, and then the authentication's above as well. So I always say to each their own when it comes to your kind of your baseballs, how you want to do them. Um, but I've got, um, that Timmy was Tim Raines. Raines and this one is uh, Goose Gossage. Uh, same thing, always on the sweet spot. Because again, you're not trying to get a guy to cram a beautiful signature into some little spot and I think that that's that's just something that I do again everybody's collection is different I do have some that are signed underneath the logo but I try to get those replaced as soon as I can um, we'll do some mini helmets yeah let's, let's do, do some mini helmets, helmets. Um, so yeah, I'll show them and he can talk about them so this one is uh, Rocky Blair I believe um, with the uh, four-time Super Bowl champ inscription on it as well it's a little Steelers mini helmet um, I've got, I've got quite a few of them. Um, I got a Bob Greasy. I believe that's like my second one um, that I have as well. Ooh, Hall of Famer right here. I got uh, Jack Ham there with the uh, Hall of Fame. Super nice guy. Um, took a picture with him while I was there as well. Oh, the dreaded Eagles. Seriously. And then uh, Randall Cunningham on a throwback mini. It's getting harder and harder to find these older mini helmets, by the way. Um, I think Rydell's switching to a speed style helmet, so it makes it a little more difficult to get. Um, let's let's go basketball. Let's go with this basketball next. You hold that one, um, grab the next one. I got Lenny Wilkins, Hall of Fame basketball player there. Um, and then one of my prized gets at the show this year was my first Dr. J, um, with the Dr. Uh, J inscription in between. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that actually it's freaking gorgeous on an, ABA, on an ball. ABA basketball these basketballs are super hard to find now because they don't make them anymore so um, if you could ever get get a hold of one it's definitely worth the money to get dr. J that to awesome. to sign it how about this Jersey my other prize get from the show would be um, take it out of here? yeah take it out is a Roger Clemens um, Jersey and let me show the number first and then I'll show is I that got showing okay. Yeah, I've got the uh, rocket there, and then if you go up a little bit, he was, he gave me the rocket inscription, and then underneath that you get two-time World Series champ. That's on a real jersey. It's not a not a knockoff. It's it's a um, it's a majestic. So it's not you know I know a lot of people get some some what they call Chinese jerseys or knockoff jerseys. Um, that was a real thing. Um, cost cost me quite a bit of money. Um, also very hard to find. Um, so if you do get a hold a chance to get a hold of one, you should definitely try to get one if, if Roger Clemens is on your list. And while we're speaking of Rocket, I also got 16 by 20. And I don't know if you can see the SIG there. Sorry about the glare, but that happens. Um, everything's in a top loader, by the way. By the way. Um, also got two inscriptions on that, seven times Psi uh, and the Rocket as well. Um, every year at the National, um, 
just like Baseball Collector said, um, I create a hit list. What do I want to get at the National? And this year, my big get or my find was Ted Williams. And this happened to be the deal of the day at Baseball Card Exchange um, on this beautiful, beautiful lithograph here, um, which also has a full letter uh, to go with it, which is, makes it even more valuable, I would say. Um, and the photo is numbered, uh, as you can see down there at the bottom. Um, I got one of those too. And Mike got one. So again, every year I try to get one of those. I think last year, um, it was a Stan Musel. Um, I got about three pieces signed by, signed by Stan at the last national. Um, I picked up a Juju. 16 by 20 as well. Who's Juju? Juju Smith-Schuster. <laughs> um, the other thing that I really go for are um, multi-sign multi pieces. Um, and I've learned over the years that you can't wedge all of these guys on a bat or um, a helmet or a ball. a ball. So what I've done is I've had photos made. So you want me to hold it. Um, this is a rookie of the year photo here. Um, I got this one signed by Strawberry. See what it says at the bottom, rookie of the year. Yeah, rookie of the year. Um, so signed by Strawberry. I don't remember who else signed it this year. Um, Hargrove maybe. Um, it's, it got signed by a bunch of guys, but um, I do it this way too. That way I save myself some money on inscription. So if you know that some of these guys' inscriptions are ridiculous, um, and Daryl Strawberry hooked it up with a uh, free inscription on there, so I don't have to worry about paying for that. Um, my other one, I have a National League one as well. That's American League. Or American League. American League. Um, I've got Carew on here. Um, I also added Andre Dawson down here for some reason. He, <laughs> he skipped some space. Um, that way I can get as many guys on here as I can. Um, Wouldn't Dawson be a National League rookie of the year? Nice. <laughs> good yeah, catch. Good catch. You did get, uh... yeah, there's Hargrove. Yeah, there's Hargrove. Yeah, and there's Carew. And Carew's autograph is getting, is, um, it's getting poor. I think that's the best way to say it. This um, is fantastic what he's about to show. So this is my Cy Young piece. Um, I added Corey Kluber uh, this year, and he is right there. Um, so anytime I can get a chance, I try to add to these to this piece. Um, I picked this up at Mill Creek about five years ago and I believe I only paid like $80 for it and it had about 25 guys on it. Um, the original 25 are actually on this um, original letter here um, from PSA. So it's got a full letter and then I've added all of the, uh, all the all of them through TriStar um, to get. So um, I, hopefully I'll get Pedro, totally awesome. get Pedro next year. Another one that I started a while back was a Heisman um, 16 by 20. I didn't have Dorsett and I know that his health, um, they say his health is failing. So um, I added Dorsett, but God, I don't even know how many on here. Uh, it's got John David Crow on here, uh, who's deceased. Um, I believe he's the only one that's, that's passed away, but Eddie George is on there. Um, Ricky Williams, Earl Campbell, Billy Sims, uh, Billy Sims uh, Jason White. Um, so. Again, this is something that I started. Um, I had this photo made as well um, by a buddy of mine. So I believe that's it. I have a couple more things that I have in my house that I didn't uh, bring. Um, maybe my next video, I'll go over those four or five things that I have. Um, I want to say thanks to Mike and thanks to the community for um, encouraging hopefully you. encouraging me to show some of the things that I have because all of it pretty much goes in a dark hole when I get back to the house. Um, and yeah, so thanks. Have a good day, everyone.